Hello, this is a demonstration of the AR Forms WordPress plugin. First, I'm going to be showing you a couple of sample forms that we've already put together. Uh, then we're going to jump into an actual demo of building a form. And following that, we're going to show you some of the more advanced things you can do with AR Forms, such as plugins for Stripe and other payment methods like PayPal. So getting started, I want to open up one of the forms we've already created. Notice that we've got a three column form for this particular demo and we've added an image. Fairly simple form, but there are some very nice features here. For example, this is how the form is going to look on a PC. But if you jump into the mobile view, notice how these three columns automatically format themselves into a nice vertical layout. So you can also see how this will look on a tablet. So that's a very simple demonstration. Uh, you can also create much more complex forms. Let's take a look at another. So this is a running total calculation form. When we preview this, you'll notice that it has some automatic calculations built in and you can completely customize what that calculation is. So let's view this in mobile. Notice how it stacks. Responsive design is very important today. Um, so many people are using mobile devices. So what I'm going to do here is look at the subtotal here of $100. If I change this to 250, notice how it automatically recalculates. I'm going to enter quantity 2. There's also a total amount that automatically calculates. So at this point I can go into Stripe because this particular demo has the Stripe add-on and people can actually enter their credit card numbers and submit an order. So that's some of the more advanced things that you can do with this. So what I'd like to do at this point is let's jump in and actually create our own form. So I'm going to go to Add New Form. Let's call this a demo. Notice how there are preset templates to get you jump started into creating a form, but I'm going to create a blank one so I can really show you what this can do. So starting from scratch here, I'm going to drag over some forms. Um, let's create a very simple form here. I'm going to create a first name field by dragging over a single line text field. And let's call that first. So take a note of all of the different form field types they have over here. Um, some of the more advanced ones you won't see on other products. Um, things like color picker, a like button, what the page break can do for you is actually create a multi-step form. And you can create a step one, two, and three, or you can have it survey style where it tells you a percentage complete. You can set up HTML. And the HTML field is what allows you to do things like calculations. There's an image URL field as well as an image field. So you can actually use um, assets that are within your WordPress account using the image field. Slider is a very current and modern way of um, allowing people to select numeric amounts. And um, once you get into your demo, you can try a lot of these different things. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to modify this field to show you some of the options that are available. So notice all the different things we can do here. We can add validation, um, placeholder text. We can also change the number of columns in this particular field element. So I'm going to change this to a three column format and let's start filling in some of these other columns. And remember from the previous demonstration, all of these columns are going to stack if we go to a mobile format. So when you look at the responsive design, this email field will be below the first name on a mobile device. So the email address is fine. Um, I'm going to go to a drop down box for my third. So let's drag it over and configure this drop down box. So for the settings, um, let's make this a required field. And the label name. Next, I'm going to edit the drop-down options.
personal and business use. So to make things a little more interesting, let's drag over another single line text field below this and add a conditional law. And this field, I'm going to call this company name. So what I want this to do is, if somebody selects personal in the how will you use this drop down, I don't want to ask for the company name because it's irrelevant. If they select business, however, this form field becomes much more relevant. So let's configure this. I'm going to set a conditional law to show this field only if all of the following match. And let's add a law. If the how will you use this field equals business, I want this to show. Let's see how it looks. Let's do this in mobile. Now watch what happens when I select business. Now it's going to ask me for my company name. Very simple. Now before we move on to the style, I want to show you one thing about the submit button, which is very powerful and very unique. I haven't seen this in any other product. Um, you can actually set a conditional law for the submit button, so it will appear faded and um, you won't be able to submit anything until these laws um, are past your validation. So you can set a law based on any one of these fields and until that law is met it will not show the submit button as clickable. So that's a pretty powerful feature. So let's move on to the next step of creating our form which is styling and this is where we make it look exactly the way you want to match your brand. On the right side we have different styling elements um, form background you can have shadow effects, you can um, change the radius of any of the buttons. Your font, your font size, margins, even background colors. You can have different opacity for your modal window. Label settings, you can change the alignment, background, input field settings. You can change your field width, colors, background colors, font colors. Um, the error state, you can change the colors and background colors of any error messages that appear. Let's move on to submit button, button settings. You can upload an image if you'd like, or you can actually um, just use one of their default uh, buttons. And within that, you can change the corner radius, the background color, font color, the width of the button, the text that appears within it. Very simple to configure. Finally, the validation style settings. This is very unique. You can change the, um, the font, the background color, um, and a number of different things about the validation message. So this is if somebody attempts to um, submit something where something wasn't validated, like maybe the email address didn't follow your email validation rule. Um, you can change the background color of the validation. You can change where it appears. Is it going to appear below the field, above it, to the right or the left? It's almost unlimited personalization and customization of the product. So those are the styling options. Let's move on to the settings for this particular form. So on, uh, on submit, you could make it display a message, redirect to a URL, or display content from another one of your WordPress pages. The auto response email after somebody submits a form, um, you can set this up um, to send from your account 
or from an SMTP server that you manage and customize the subject, the reply to, the message. You can also send a response to the administrator at your company and this will give you all of the information from within that uh, form. This is powerful. Um, look at all of the different integrations that are built in with the product. So if you use any one of these email providers, built right into this system is an API um, or a form code integration with these different email providers. This makes it very simple to incorporate. Custom CSS is as easy as it gets. Um, you just select which element. And when you click that down below, you can just um, enter the CSS. You can also add others if, if you don't see the element up here that you'd like to modify. So what I'm going to do now is move on to the Add to Site section. And adding this, um, let's save the form. And let's add it to one of our sample pages. So on the right side, there's some short codes here. We can um, actually make this a pop-up, a fly-in, a sticky tab, and you can also embed these. Let's make this a fly-in. So I'm going to grab the short code here, copy this, go into one of my pages, and this is how easy it is to implement this into one of your pages. All I have to do is paste it and preview. Here's the sticky tab and it flies in. It's as simple as that. I should mention that AR Forms also has a um, moderated support forum um, with very quick response. There's a support ticket system as well if you have any questions on implementing this on your site. So at this point, let's go back and look at some of the global settings. So in addition to the form specific settings, you also have global settings. Which you, should, which you should probably address right when you purchase the product. You can set settings for your reCAPTCHA if you're going to be using those in your forms. Default messages, you can enter this once and not have to worry about it for each of the future forms you create. Set up your email settings in your SMTP server if you're going to be using that. Removing rebranding, the different form submission methods, you can take care of this in one screen and be done. If you're going to be using the integration features, notice that there's an API and a web form integration for each one of these uh, email providers. Moving on to the form entries, this is where you're going to see all of the submissions. So if you have 20 people submit your form, you're going to see all 20 of those individuals within this section. So naturally, you're going to be able to export these, um, even analyze. So this is a demo. We don't have um, too many submissions. But as you can see, there's uh, beautiful for, um, graphs and charts that are created to show you over time what your submissions are, are looking like um, on a daily, monthly, and yearly basis. There's also an import-export feature. If you've created a lot of great um, forms, you can export them and then import them into another one of your WordPress accounts. If you already have the product, you can also go into our add-ons website, and this is located at arformsplugin.com. And from that page, you'll want to click Add-on. So right now we have six, and we're constantly adding new add-ons to make the product um, a little better for your use. Stripe, user sign up, PayPal, PDF Creator, Authorize.net, and Twilio are the current add-ons we have and there's others in the works. So I encourage you to take the step of um, go ahead and take a, a demo of the product, take a look at it yourself, and hopefully you decide to make a purchase. 
Thanks a lot.